I found a lot of inspiration in fully immersive light and art environments. I had full-on religious experiences. I could sit there for like three hours and just contemplate being. When you're just immersed in color, you can lose yourself. They say our approach creators project. They're interested in working on this new type of performance experience. It sounded like a really extraordinary collaboration. We started talking back and forth and just sort of framing out different ideas for what the project could be. The idea was not to design a stage environment, it was to design a series of different elements that then sort of the stage environment emerges from them. The other main idea behind the show was this idea of the band um, sort of communicating or, or signaling out into the audience and into a larger space. And so for me, I really latched onto this idea of these crystal structures vibrating on stage because crystals, of course, are at the, at the base of all electronics because when you, when you put an electric signal through a crystal, it vibrates at a really precise frequency. As the crystals grow, there's some smaller ones and larger ones. Then the, the idea of the wall in the back is that it implies this larger form that they're actually inside of. A very standard thing with concerts now is to have very large screens. So a real ambition with the screen was to shatter it so that it would provide depth and interference through reflection. So you're able to basically use this wall as, a, as an instrument. In doing the visuals, the idea is to do visuals that only relate really precisely to the architecture itself. And so there's a really tight synthesis there between the architecture and the images. Another thing about the media that's really critical is that it's performed live. We all think lip syncing is ridiculous, and you would never expect that to see if the band, and I think it's the same true for the visuals too. You really need to have a, a sense that that's being performed live as well. The goal of this project was never to, you know, throw more technology at it, never to sort of build a bigger light show with more projectors and, and that kind of thing. It was always to, about the sensibility of it and the quality of it, and to do something to, to match with the quality of the sound that's happening. And I think that's more about a sensibility than it is about any kind of technology. What we're looking to deliver in terms of live performance is walking the line between craft and chaos. Like, I always want it to be teetering on the edge of falling apart, and that clash between technology and humanity is what makes an interesting experience.